Hello and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. Today I'm making more bread and this time it's a traditional Sally Lunn. Traditional enough that it was made during the American Civil War, so let's see what we're going to need. Sally Lunn is a sweet yeast batter bread, so all the regular bread ingredients are here with the addition of buttermilk and orange juice. As always, all the ingredients are listed here as well as the full recipe and instructions in the description box below. Now I'll be putting this together in my mixer, but because we quit adding flour when it becomes too stiff to stir, you could put it together by hand. So let's get started. We'll only be using the paddle and not the dough hook for this bread. We'll start with two cups of flour and all the dry ingredients in the mixing bowl. The wet ingredients plus the butter are going into a small saucepan to heat until just warm. I've got this pan over medium high heat. We're going to heat it to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to pour the wet ingredients into the mixing bowl and stir this by hand. Once that's mixed up, we'll add in the eggs and then it's going on the mixer. And we're going to mix it for three or four minutes on medium low to get this sponge going. Okay, you may need to scrape down the sides. Okay, I'm going to start by adding about a cup of flour to this. We stir on low. Okay, all we have to do is cover this whole thing with a towel and let it rise for about 50 minutes. After this gets done rising, we stir it down and then it gets poured into a greased 10 by 5 inch loaf pan. You can also put it in a greased 10 inch tube pan. I'm just putting mine in my unheated oven to rise for a half an hour. This loaf bakes for 40 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees. This needs to be deep hand to a cooling rack and then we need to wait about a half an hour before we can cut into it. It's time to give this bread a taste. We do serve it warm, and I know it's delicious. And it's so soft. Mm. Perfect. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our recipes. Don't forget to like our Facebook page for behind the scenes pics and videos and follow us on Twitter for sneak peeks of upcoming videos and the random cat picture.